I'm a senior product manager. I'm over our Protect stage, which uh, covers a few different areas, but one of those areas is protecting applications while they're actually running in production. Um, it's a fairly new area for GitLab, and traditionally we've been focused more on the development part of the software development lifecycle, um, but we're extending that actually into protecting applications even after they're deployed into a running production environment. We were initially focused on some features that were targeted almost exclusively at the SecOps persona, and we realized that we needed to bridge that gap and provide some capabilities that, you know, still felt the needs of the SecOps persona, but also jointly touched on some of the use cases and problems that were being experienced by our current user base. And scanning containers in production for vulnerabilities seemed like a prime example of something that would fill that gap because it's not only addressing the production aspect, which is the concern of the security operations team, but also it deals with vulnerabilities as they exist in code, which carries you know, uh, its impact all the way back to the developer as a product manager. And when you come across a product as you know, mature and as robust as Trivi and Starboard are, it's really exciting to see that because it means that you're going to be able to fit that in and immediately provide some great value to your customer base. Um, one of the features of GitLab is Auto DevOps, which you know combines a whole lot of capabilities in GitLab into a fairly simple, you know, uh, default configuration. And part of that is you know running um, running Trivi by default, or it will be as with our 14.0 release. Starboard has a really nice feature that lets you just automatically scan new containers as they come. Uh, online or as they start up inside of the cluster. So you compare those two together, you get really good, pretty much continuous monitoring of the vulnerabilities that are there. With the integration of GitLab with Trivi and Starboard, what we're aiming to provide is an on by default type of scenario where if you're using Auto DevOps, you're deploying into production, we're running those scans by default and giving you the results. That means that you don't have to be a technical expert to know how to set it up or schedule it or you know, figure out all of the intricacies of how everything works in order to start getting some scan results into your workflow. We try to leverage as much open source technology out there as we can. We certainly don't want to go reinvent the wheel. So if we just go out and we look and we find that there's not really anything um, industry leading or anything that's going to meet all of our customer requirements, then we'll, we will go and develop our own proprietary technology. But um, in the case, for example, of container scanning, you know, that certainly was not the case. Trivi was a very clear winner in the market as far as features and functionality and capabilities. Um, overall, we look at, you know, for example, when we evaluated our container scanning engine, we were looking at timeliness of updates. We're looking at um, the feature set of the scanner itself. We wanted to make sure that it was going to support a wide range of our customer base, including those that operate on air-gapped or disconnected environments, um, which it does. And lastly, we wanted it to support our goals of starting to scan containers running in production. When we did compare uh, Trivi, we found that, you know, we got really good results, really timely uh, vulnerability data back. Um, Trivi also allowed us to add support for distro lists, scanning distro list images, and that was a feature that we were lacking. Most of the open source scanners, you know, work in a cloud native world, um, but some of them require a whole lot more work to scan things in production than others. So Starboard does a lot of the work of going out and um, actually running the scan against the images that exist. It also, uh, you know, Trivi also bundles the vulnerability database. This is getting into the technical details, but Trivi bundles the vulnerability database together with the scanner. So that's one less service that we then have to start up and maintain. Whereas other scanners, uh, some of the other scanners require two services. Some even require a whole lot more to be up and running before they can even start a scan. So the simplicity of Trivi was very appealing 
um, some of the pre-built-in functionality of Starboard to be able to go out and execute those scans was also very appealing. And so it's not that you can't scan containers in production with other solutions, it's just that it was a whole lot easier with Trivi. It's been night and day compared to some of the other uh, interactions that we've had with other vendors in the security space. And, you know, just having that close collaboration has been invaluable to us. That's something that we really appreciate and look for in a partner, um, because that's a good sign that it's a healthy relationship. When we see an enhancement or we hear a need from our customers that's shared by the Trivi product as well, you know, we can push that upstream into the open source project and make that available for anyone and everyone who's using Trivi, regardless of whether or not they're using GitLab. And so again, that partnership and close collaboration is probably just one other thing that really stood out to us during the selection process that was just kind of the icing on the cake.